Yeah. All right, we're good to go. We've led the brakes, so. So let's see what let's, happens. Yeah. Well, I'm. <laughs> as soon as I take off I realize my helmet strap is not done so I try to just do it but with the gloves and everything is difficult uh, really at this point you should just stop in the pits tie my helmet strap uh, you know take my gloves off whatever I need to do put my gloves back on and when I'm ready only then uh, should I go but um, I try to do that pretty quickly uh, it was a member day there was I think nobody else around at all in this session on the track uh, but I guess we'll find it out shortly um, so I just went ahead since I knew no one was around me but um, not something I advise doing in general uh, you know be ready before you go on track before you leave the pits that was a terrible example also not to knock on Jerry at all but uh, when I was in the pits uh, I should not have been allowed to go on track without my strap on I, the person should have told me my helmet uh, strap is not tight and I need to tie it up before I'm allowed to go on track. Just as a side note, if ever you forget, generally the person should be there to remind you. Right now I'm getting the car warmed up and uh, as you heard in the pits I bled my brakes before coming back on track. I had braking issues if you saw my previous videos uh, that day trying to find out why. I think in the end it, be, it was just the brake pads were not uh, thick enough um, but anyway um, I was trying to see if my brakes were going to work better uh, before I would decide if I did a full session or not. I did not do a full session because it turns out my brakes were not uh, working properly for a full session. done so um, to check out my uh, ECR Eagles Canyon Raceway 2.55 mile uh, long track um, I just want you to watch it and pay attention to the surface um, I'll post a hyperlink so you can just click on it uh, I'll also put a link in the description to a few videos of ECR 2.5 mile and that was before the track was redone about a year ago uh, it was completely resurfaced and People used to complain about the surface, people used to say it would damage cars, um, you know, all sorts of complaints. Uh, it wasn't flat in some braking zones, it had become a little bit like an accordion, um, I guess because, you know, with uh, very, very heavy uh, braking in certain areas, the, the track had been deformed. Um, and then when you uh, got onto the straightaway right here, it was just a long straightaway to what well, used to be turn six. Now instead, there's a beautiful series of turns right here um, that lead all the way to what used to be turn six before you get on the back straight. And this is a great addition to the track. Uh, very technical, very fun, adds um, a camber, adds elevation. Now you're going downhill into what used to be turn six. Um, it's, it's just much, much better. Uh, so if you've heard bad things about Eagles Canyon on the surface or whatever, uh, maybe, Watch the, the old videos and then compare it to, to this current video. Um, so much smoother, so much grippier. Uh, it's really, really pleasant to drive on the surface. They did a great, great job.
one thing I love about this rear view is that lots of people ask me, uh, hey, how, how do I know if my spoiler is working on, on the Boxsters, especially on the 987 Boxsters? Well, you could lay tape over the wing, uh, go over 70 or 75 miles an hour to make sure um, it, it activates, um, and then check if the tape was broken, or you can do what I did and put a camera, and then you will see it in action. So. Uh, here you go. This is how it works. Uh, pretty cool. You can see how I think it's around 70, maybe 75 miles an hour that it goes up. And I believe when uh, the speed is reduced to under 50, it, it retracts and goes back down. So this should give us a pretty good idea at what speed I'm entering the corners if it's uh, above or below 50 miles an hour. And it can also uh, show us pretty quickly at what point do I reach uh, 75 miles an hour. Now apologies for, um, you know, we can see a dead cat hanging above there. Um, I was trying to get some sound and it actually didn't work at all because as you can see how it's flinging uh, left and right, up and down and in all directions. Um, there was just so much wind, even the dead cat just, just could not stop it. So I wasn't even able to use that audio at all, so I, I just wish it wasn't on the video. Um, but, you know, it is what it is. Uh, live and learn.
So I've been feeling my brakes fading already, so I hit the brakes a little bit early here, and no brakes. So I just knew I had to had to give up for the day. Um, so you know, I went ahead and finished this lab, took it easy, then did a full cool down lab for for the end of the session and the, the end of the day, and uh, and was done. You know, I you know I found out later, like I said earlier, it it was probably just my brake pads. That were a little bit too thin uh, to withstand the heat so after a few laps it just couldn't do the job anymore uh, everything else looked good we bled the brakes uh, the cooling was there i mean the brakes usually work so that's the only the only thing i can think of because um, especially the fronts were were a little bit low but no big deal awesome racetrack had the racetrack just for myself in this last session i uh, wish i could have done the whole session um, right here uh, since I was the only person on track, I'm letting them know that I'm going to come off so uh, they can expect I'm going to go off and they can uh, get ready for the for the next session uh, or maybe to close out the track if no one else is going to come out anymore. But no, it was really, really great to get to, to drive the track on the brand new uh, smooth surface uh, with the brand new section, uh, turn 6 that became turns 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10. Um, you know, one turn became five turns. Uh, it, it's such a needed addition to the track. Um, really, really technical, really fun, fast, flowy, uh, goes up, then goes down. Um, no, it's, it's, uh, they really, really did a great job and, and I was just really thankful I was able to, to go and play with it and have the track to myself uh, there. So it was great. I wish I had brakes that were working so I could have dri driven longer, but, um, awesome awesome day at the track I'm gonna leave the footage rolling here so you guys get to see uh, one last look at the new section turns uh, 6 through 10 uh, with that in mind uh, thanks for watching I hope you guys enjoyed it if you want me to go a little bit more in detail uh, on the racing line itself or would like any specific coaching tips or anything like that on any racetrack or just in general uh, let me know and I can make sure to go to a racetrack or to that particular racetrack and make a video and go over uh, whatever tips, race, racing line, anything that you need to know or would like to, me to share with you. Um, please hit me up, uh, don't hesitate to leave a comment, uh, give the video a like and please subscribe for more videos. Thank you for watching, bye for now.